guys, my name's Anita and I'm from Dogs Envy and this is the gorgeous Kai. I'm doing this video today because a lot of my clients are coming in who are brushing their dogs quite regularly but they still have a lot of knots. It seems like brushing your dog isn't easy as it sounds so today I'm going to show you how. I'm going to start off today by showing you which comb and brush I'm going to be using. I recommend using a slicker brush which looks like this. The reason being are the prongs are really close together which makes it so much easier to get out every little fine knot. I like this one because it's got the little white bubbles on the end which make it a lot softer on the dog's skin. I wouldn't recommend using something like this because the prongs are too far apart and the knots just glide straight through. I'm also going to be using a metal comb. Again, use one with the prongs really close together so you can feel every little knot. The metal makes it a lot stiffer so you can feel the knots better as well. So now I've shown you what equipment to use, I'm going to show you how to use it. Um, the biggest mistake a lot of people make is they just brush over the top like this. This doesn't work because all you're doing is brushing the top layer. You're not actually getting underneath where all the knots are. The other mistake people make is they just brush over the main bits. They don't actually brush in the friction areas where the knots start. So wherever the dog is moving a lot or you're patting it, wherever you're causing friction will be the spot where the knots start. So this is under the legs here, under the front leg, around the bottom, under the chest and behind the ears. So make sure that you're getting the entire dog when brushing it. I like to start at the back leg and then just move throughout the whole entire dog just choosing section by section. So I'll brush this bit, brush this bit, brush you know the side, you know making sure you're getting under the belly, every single little of the bo bit of the dog because if you miss anywhere those knots will spread and before you know it your whole entire dog will be all knotted up. So the correct way of using your brush is if the hair is long enough, you need to hold the hair sort of up and out of the way. So Kai's hair is starting to get to that point where we can't just, you know, brush down. So you need to kind of hold the hair up like this and brush down. So we hold the hair up and brush down like this, hold the hair up, brush down like this. Once you've actually brushed that part out, you need to get your comb and check that you've got all the knots out. So if the pins aren't gliding through really nicely, and those pins should actually be touching the skin too, and they're not just gliding through like this, it means that you've actually got a knot there. So you know, you might get a knot and be like, mm, you know, it's not going through. You don't want to use that comb to pull the knots out because it will actually hurt your dog and we want them to enjoy the experience as much as possible. So you want to get your brush again, brush over that bit and then use your comb and make sure it's all out. And that's basically it. 